Talk first alert weather. Bring the chief in here, Scott Paget. Timing and and how cold. And this is this is two nights worth at least, right? Oh uh, yeah, easily. And Thursday morning is going to be warmer than Thursday afternoon. So be prepared already. Uh, we have about one more day to get ready for this big Arctic blast that's on the way. So the front moves through on Thursday morning already before sunrise in the northwest sides of North Texas moving through. We're going to see those winds gusting up to 35, 40, possibly 50 miles per hour behind the front. Falling temperatures through the day. Dangerous wind chills on the way as soon as Thursday afternoon. And then going into uh, the Friday morning at time frame, we have this wind chill watch remaining in effect. Goes into effect Thursday morning and in effect until Friday. So here's where it is. All of North Texas, because that feels like temperature, could be as low as 10 degrees below zero. So dangerous cold on the way down to the single digits or in the low teens by Friday morning. The actual temperature could result in hypothermia. So please keep that in mind. Let's walk you through this with the first alert future cast. By Friday, Four o'clock in the afternoon, feeling like six in Gainesville, to nine in Breckenridge, to 20 in Corsa Canada, 10 in Greenville, and we're not done cooling down. By Friday morning, this forecast model is showing about maybe three to five degrees below zero, but the potential is there. We could get even colder than that or feel colder than that. And then you notice that feels like temperature on Friday afternoon, only still about 10 to 11 degrees in some spots. So definitely dealing with that cold air that remains in place going into Friday afternoon to Friday evening for us. So we'll keep our eyes on that as we continue to go through the evening hours. My computer there finally is advancing on for you to show you that on Thursday it'll be about 42 to 43 at 7 in the morning and then by the time we go to about 2 it'll be 23 degrees but factoring in the wind 5. It's going to be feeling like 5 by 4 o'clock so really dangerous temperatures on the way and a lot of you have been asking Will we see any winter precip in the form of any ice or snow? There's a very minimal chance as that front moves in. Here we are going into Thursday morning, early morning hours, moving its way through, possibly in our Red River counties, maybe a couple of flurries drifting their way on through. If that happens, I don't anticipate any travel issues at all. This is a bit more aggressive, trying to bring a little bit of sleet towards Hunt County, stretching down to Van Zandt County. I don't think that's going to really materialize for us, but the bitter cold, it's going to be here because Friday we only make it to 25. Saturday, we might dip up to bump up to 33 degrees into the afternoon hours then on Sunday you're high about 45. So dangerous cold mornings ahead 11 degrees on Friday morning. Uh, last time we were in the teens was earlier this year in February. So we're going to be seeing really cold temperatures in place for Christmas Eve. Uh, we're going to be seeing temperatures starting out at 20 warming to 33. If you celebrate Christmas Day 45 degrees sunny skies on the way for all the new toys but you definitely have to bundle up and then into next week holding in the mid 50s for highs by next Tuesday.